if a, if a young mom put to bed the first time mom i ask her how far how is it going she will give you that um ah everything is okay i'm doing well i'm happy baby is happy we are doing well but deep down you know what you are going through hey guys and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is genka of genka's diary i'm a mom vlogger based in ogun state nigeria basically i started this channel to document my my lifestyle my my um journey through motherhood and um my career development and personal development so if you are new on this channel please do want to hit on the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified each time i post a new video and if you are my returning subscriber thank you so much for coming once again to watch my videos i really appreciate you so much you guys are my day one like <laughs> i'm so much grateful for you so on today's video we'll be talking about postpartum blues yes some people like to call it depression although there are two different things postpartum blues and postpartum depression but i want to speak for myself from my from my own experience and uh, using the word depression is too strong for me so i will go with postpartum blues yes so what is postpartum blues postpartum blues is a kind of sad feelings or anger a kind of moody feelings a woman gets few days after childbirth yes these things are real postpartum blues are real postpartum depressions are real i don't know why people find it so difficult especially um african women like nigerian women find it so much difficult to speak up about these um these things postpartum blues and postpartum depression they find it so hard like if you ask them if a, if a young mom put to bed the first time mom i ask her how far how is it going she will give you that um ah everything is okay i'm doing well i'm happy baby is happy we are doing well but deep down you know what you are going through deep down you know what you are feeling but there's that I don't know what to call it that you can't speak up you don't want people to see you as a, a, a lazy woman or you don't want people to see you as if you're not strong enough or you are not prepared or so most women find it so difficult to speak up about all these things and I am here to talk about it and how it affected me postpartum blues how I was able to come out of it so if you want to hear my story if you want to learn more from this please keep on watching so what are the symptoms of um, postpartum blues the symptoms include um, withdrawing from your partner yes and not being able to bond with your baby you see you begin to withdraw from your partner that uh, that um love that not actually the love but that connection you normally have with your partner you see yourself not really interested in it uh, at that time and uh, being able to bond with your baby you find you, you begin to find yourself so it, it begins to feel so difficult for you to bond with your baby yes this are the symptoms of a postpartum blues another symptom is sleep deprivation or difficulty in sleeping you find yourself you know feeling difficulty in sleeping you can't sleep even if you want to sleep you know you're just being worried another symptom is you're being worried anxiety you know you want to sleep you can't sleep you're scared you're worried about your baby you're worried if you're doing the right thing you're just scared how is my baby how will i cope how these are the symptoms of postpartum blues so young moms new moms or intending moms if you find yourself in this uh, condition or you see yourself developing these um, symptoms in you these are postpartum 
blues it's happened with me when i gave birth to my first child i you know i had this postpartum blues i started feeling so hard you know to sleep i couldn't sleep even when i wanted to sleep first baby didn't allow me to sleep okay when i'm given the opportunity to sleep i couldn't sleep i'll just be tossing here and there thinking about my baby if i sleep maybe something might happen to my baby or oh, you know how will i cope how my baby cope things like that <laughs> and um you know i just i couldn't bond as much as i wanted to bond with my baby although when my mom left i said that, you know that's why uh, they said this postpartum blue last few weeks after childbirth yes because you will start accepting your new way of life you will start accepting that ah this is how it's going to be for me oh this is what i've entered into this is how it's going to continue from now so these are the symptoms of postpartum so the next um, thing is how to deal with postpartum blues the first one I have here is um, speak about it. Yes, speak about your feelings, how you are feeling, how it's going on with you. Be free to talk about it. Tell people about it. Tell your spouse about it. If your mom is there, tell her about it. Because here in Nigeria, a mom comes for Omugo. And if you find yourself having these symptoms I've listed, speak to your mom about it. Speak to your spouse about it. Or if you have any elderly person there or listening ear, tell them about it let them know how you are feeling let them know what's wrong with you let them know um, how it's going for you so they'll be able you know to assist you so number one thing you have to do is when you find that you have these symptoms you know you have this um, this um, withdrawing from your from your spouse and um, finding it difficult to bond with your baby you know you're always finding it difficult to sleep even when you are you are stressed you're exhausted and you feel like sleeping but you can't sleep you know those symptoms speak up tell somebody about them let them know what is going on with you so you can get help from there the next one i have is seek for support seek for support it could be professional it could be family support it could be um, from your friends you know just tell people help me I'm exhausted help me you understand seek it this is what I'm going through I have a whole lot on me as a new mom you need help you need help those are one of the things that really uh, 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 made me uh, well I say I was frustrated in, 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 in when I had my uh, first baby you know after my mom left, I was alone. Me and my husband was alone taking care of our baby. You know, when my husband goes to work, I'll be alone. I'll literally do everything. At first, when my mom left, I was scared of leaving the baby. Like, I was thinking, if I leave this baby, something might happen to him. Something might happen to him. So I was 100% paying attention to the baby. Like, I was scared to go and use the toilet. I was scared to go and have my bath. I was scared to do, and I always go with my baby. When I want to eat, I take him to the kitchen, I dish my food. I... There was a day I didn't bathe until hobby has to come back from work. <laughs> I don't cook. I will have to wait for my husband to come back from work before I cook. <laughs> Just because of fear. Anxiety. You know? so as time went on you know i started keeping my baby you know to do stuff so as a new mom as a new mom if you find yourself you know having all these symptoms having all these things you know these are postpartum blues they are postpartum blues so you have to speak up about it and seek for help had it been i had someone uh, with me at that time or i had uh, another helping hand you know i would have left my baby with the person go go and shower go and cook do so many stuffs for myself you know but all those things and if you continue like that it makes you fall into depression because you will be thinking when do i have time for myself will all my attention be on this baby okay i won't cook until so so time 
when I'm supposed to be resting at that time, I won't have my bed. You know, all those things, you feel ugly, you feel dirty, you know? <laughs> so you have to speak up, ask for support, ask for help. It could be professional help. You know, there are some cases that, you know, has gone beyond, uh, beyond, you know, spouses intervening or, or parents that needs a professional help. If you find yourself that you have gone way, 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 way far from, you know, these symptoms, you need professional help. So another thing is try to change your lifestyle. Like just leave the baby with someone, you know, maybe your husband, you change your lifestyle, leave your baby with your husband for uh, some time, let your husband feed, maybe through the, uh, the night time, you take a nap, you sleep, so your husband can feed the baby or look after the baby, you know, or just go for a walk. Just leave the house and stroll, go for a walk and, you know, think and <laughs> reset your brain. Just look out and, you know, be free. Be free, at least for some time before returning back. Just change your, maybe you could change your diet, you know, as the new mom, you see yourself, you begin to feel ugly. <laughs> you could change your diet, you know, you could just, you know, exercise yourself. And there are so many things to do to get out of this. So, if you see yourself having these symptoms I listed, please, please, please seek for help, you know, um, professional help or um, domestic help or whatsoever help, you know speak about it let people know how you're feeling because when you say it that's when people understand you and know what exactly you're feeling but if you keep holding it you keep not seeing it in your mind in your heart and it will you know keep suppressing you keep as in you begin to fall into depression and before you know it you've gone far far into it so the earlier you speak about it the better speak about these things change your lifestyle you know inculcate some activities into your life not all the time baby 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 it can be overwhelming you know it can be really really overwhelming it can be frustrating at times it can be tiring but just you know change your lifestyle add a little spice to your lifestyle exercise your body take a walk you know leave the baby with hobby or um, help for some time you know and just rest your head do so many other things and um, you will see that everything will be balanced motherhood is not for the faint-hearted if you you've entered you've entered there's no going back <laughs> there's no going back so you just have to keep moving forward you know finding ways you know to balance it up just like that so please if you enjoy this video give it a thumbs up subscribe and you know turn on the notification bell to get notified each time i post a video and i'll see you in my next video bye